watching this video expecting to see a DPF filter cut up, you certainly come to the right place because that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is a DPF filter. It's actually a DPF filter off my wife's car. It's also a block DPF filter. Before I cut it open, I want to say a little bit about how a DPF filter works. DPF stands for Diesel Particulate Filter. What this does, it collects soot out of the engine. It's a straightforward filter. It collects bits of carbon, bits of burnt oil. That's what it does. It's made up of a matrix, probably silk and carbide. The exhaust cast goes in there. Any particles of soot are caught on top of that matrix. As the exhaust heats up, the soot starts to burn. Most of it burns away and you're left with a small amount of ash. If the exhaust doesn't get hot enough, this starts to become blocked up. There's a couple of sensors in, there's a sensor there and a sensor in the bottom, before and after. You've got a differential pressure sensor. That senses the pressure difference between the inlet and the outlet. Once the inlet pressure gets too high, that means the filter's starting to block. What it does then, it puts a warning light on the car. DPF warning light. The idea then is you drive the car at motorway speeds for 10 or 15 minutes. The engine also injects more fuel to make it run hotter. This gets hot, red hot in fact, which then burns off all the carbon and all the soot gets burnt away and your filter starts to work again. If that doesn't work, you need to take it into a dealer or a garage. What they do, they plug it onto a diagnostic machine and they do what's called a force regeneration. Basically that gets the engine temperature right up really hot with the vehicle standing still. It injects a really rich mixture and burns off the carbon from inside the DPF filter. Unfortunately, with this DPF filter, it's off a Citroen, it's actually off my wife's car. It's done 70,000 miles and it will not regenerate. So it's had to be replaced. So that's all a DPF is, it's a soot filter, it collects soot out of diesel engines because diesel engines are dirty things that always have been and that always will be and what they're trying to do, they're trying to put a device like this on to clean up the exhaust. After the DPF there's also a cat, a cat's different to a DPF, a cat's a catalyst, catalytic converter, catalytic converter, that completely converts the exhaust gas to remove some of the nasties. Using the correct engine oil is very important. You must use a low ash oil designed for engines with DPFs fitted. DPFs aren't going to go away, they're going to get worse. Diesel emission regulations are going to become stronger and stronger. It's just a society we live in. Right, that's enough talk. Let's have the top off and have a look inside. This is the weapon of choice. 5 inch angle grinder. Safety glasses, safety glove. I've cut around the factory well just in case I would want to put it back together again. This is a stainless steel based material. Right, last little bit. Right, I'll bring the camera in so I'm going to a closer look at this. A 
lot of these a lot of these pores are blocked up with like a honeycomb and I will think the orange stuff will be blockage in them Getting clear as you get further through. It's certainly well blocked. I mean, the vehicle was still running, but it was putting a DPF light on, and it just wouldn't regenerate. Got to the point where it couldn't, couldn't get, couldn't move any more. The I think if you see the square holes in the matrix there, there's quite a few of them are actually blocked up. So this is the matrix here, you can see the holes are clear on that side. And then it's blocked up inside the orange stuff, so what's the stuff that's blocked it up. That'll be the burnt carbon. Make a cross section of it there. Felt that certainly well choked. Quite hard that deposit. Yeah. 